How does one begin to classify the greatness of a man and a baseball coach whose life was shockingly ended so suddenly in 2019? Do you remember him as a championship coach, a mentor who made you better, a friend who lent a hand, or just a person who immensely cared? He was the most principled man I've ever known, and his principles weren't negotiable. If you were a, a player and you stepped out of line, there were consequences. Now, he was always willing to give a second chance, but he wasn't going to deviate, not only as a baseball coach, but as a man. Talk to any players, they'll tell you how consistent he was throughout his career when it came to dealing with players. There is something to all of that when it comes to Tony Robichaux. Through a head coaching career that spanned 30 plus years at McNeese State University and the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, Robichaux won a state record 1,177 games. What I loved most about Coach was his personality and his his wit and, and he was funny and he was a master storyteller. He could laugh and he could laugh at himself. Well, that's what drew me to him and then always had a piece of knowledge for you or a quote or a, a piece of advice or some wisdom and it, it always seemed to fit the situation. He took the Cowboys to two NCAA regionals and the Cajuns to a dozen along with four Super Regionals and a third place at the 2000 College World Series. But as great a coach as he was, those who knew him uniformly say he was a better man in so many ways. Well, he has the famous quote saying that baseball is what he does, it's not who he is. And for him, there were no more truer words spoken because baseball is not who he was. It was strictly something that he did as a profession. But who he was was much greater than that. It was father figure to all of these young men that played for us. It was a mentor to all the coaches that coached underneath him. It was all of those things that made Tony who he was. The impact made was illustrated when former players exclusively raised nearly $200,000 to erect a statue in his honor prior to the 2020 season. He did a really good job of putting into perspective, you know, obviously baseball was important to all of us, but like at the end of the day, it, you know, it was just a game. And, and he, he put life in the forefront for us. And at least, you know, for me personally, like really shed some light on the perspective of the game versus your life and kind of purpose and stuff like that. His presence needs to be felt for all time uh, at the school in particular for every player that runs through that baseball field. Uh, and they need to learn about him and hear about him and, um, and, and listen to his message because it was so impactful for all of us that, um, you know, that, that's, that's the effect that a true mentor does. It's, it's life standing. Uh, it lives with you forever. And we, we felt compelled to put something together that will stand the test of time and will be here forever um, because you know, it'd be selfish of us to try to keep his teachings and his message just within us. It's, you know, we, we, need, to, we need to let everyone know who, who this man was. The Hall recognizes outstanding athletic accomplishments. And for many coaches, that involves wins and losses. Right or wrong, that's what gets people in many of those venues. But tonight, this Hall of Fame salutes a coach who taught the game and was a longtime success, but also someone who delivered life lessons freely and made so many so much better. They are carrying on this legacy to this day and for years into the future. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer, the late Tony Robichaux.